So we got asked a great question from Martin Renault. How to defend, how do you defend with base runners on first and third when there's no out, one out, or two outs? That's a great question. So I drew a little ball field here. We have runners on first, runners on third. <clears throat> I think one of the key things to this is this coach that's over here, he wants to see what kind of plays we have. If we take the ball and we put like a trick play on it, we show that there's something other than just throwing it to first, that's gonna help make this guy here hold this runner longer. So one of the plays that you can do is you can take the shortstop, have them cut inside, and have your catcher throw the ball directly to the shortstop. He cuts it and then takes a look at this guy. That's one play. So you're pretty much giving up this to then get this guy to slam on the brakes. Once you do that once, the next time what you can do is actually have the catcher throw through, but have the shortstop still sprint in and he kind of just holds right here. That's gonna freeze this runner and allow you to still throw the ball to the second baseman trying to throw that runner out. Another one you can do is you can take the ball as a catcher and fire it straight to the pitcher. Fire it to the pitcher and then he checks the runner. So a lot of times you'll do that if, if it's a close ball game or if you don't want to give up this run, you'll make it look like you're throwing knowing that you're not throwing the ball this way. Or you can take the ball from the catcher and as soon as he catches the ball, snap throw to third base. So if you snap throw to third base, you fire the ball to the pitcher, you fire the ball to the shortstop, all those things make this guy, the coach, kind of hold the runner and see what's going on. So those are some great ways to defend the first and third play. Hope that helps coach. Have some fun with it.